Breaking news on the latest senior uh, loan officer survey coming out of the Fed. Jay Powell talked about it at his meeting, and now those numbers crossing the wire. Michael McKee, our chief international economics correspondent, standing by right now. The big headline here, a tightening in credit and lending conditions. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> and you can see in these numbers why Jay Powell wasn't so excited when he was talking about it on Wednesday. We do have a little bit of a tightening, uh, tightening considerably, 3.2 percent for large uh, for all banks, and that could compares with a 1.3 percent uh, the uh, prior uh, the prior survey which was in January 1.5 percent but when you look at large banks none of them tightened significantly uh, tightening somewhat 42.9 percent for all respondents and that compares with 43 uh, percent back in January but this is all at the uh, large bank level and we're only talking about a few banks 16 banks raised their lending standards 48 and a half percent of those uh, who were reporting, but small banks went down. 36.7% said they tightened their lending standards. That compared to 40.6% in January. So lending standards not quite as tight for smaller banks as it is for large banks and not a significant move uh, really for either of them. For, uh, these were uh, lending, by the way, Romain, to large companies. Mm -hmm. Lending to small companies uh, was a little bit tighter. Uh, smaller banks, 36.7%. 0.7% raised somewhat compared with 406 in January. So even for smaller lenders, smaller banks were willing to provide credit. We also uh, get uh, word from the banks that we do see a decline in credit demand, mm. uh, and they're calling it uh, the largest share of banks with the weaker loan demand since 2009. Yeah. So while banks are offering credit, it appears it doesn't seem like uh, companies want as much as they did. We should point out uh, the market reaction here relatively muted, certainly in equity, certainly in the dollar, a little bit of activity. Uh, when it comes to Treasury, just about two to three basis points higher on a two-year yield back to 399. Mike, I am curious here about the Fed's read into this here. The idea that Powell would single this out uh, at the press conference, I mean, he was prompted uh, a question about it, but the idea that he clearly has his eye on this, he clearly seemed to express some concern about it, how much is that going to feed through into the next meeting in June? I think we have to uh, wait and see what happens with the lending numbers, because we did see last week's uh, H8 report, which yeah. they H8. were talking I'm track with keeping, that, uh, yeah, uh, keeping uh, track of all these esoteric It's basically yeah. uh, bank deposits and lending, mm -hmm. and lending did go down just a little bit in mid-March, but now has started to recover and is going back up again. So if banks are still lending, then the Fed isn't going to be concerned, as concerned at least, about a credit crunch. You know, there's also sort of the elephant in the room, which is that there's a lot of lending, or maybe not lending, taking place outside of the banking sector that is tracked by the loan officer surveys, as well as H8 and some of the other reports. That's the hard part for the Fed because yeah. they don't know who is lending what. They apparently do have some information on it, but not enough to uh, do anything about it, and they're very limited in what they could do anyway.